Health Cabinet Secretary Mutahi Kagwe has decried the failure of health workers to pass English language tests required for the United Kingdom jobs. Speaking today, the CS has urged the health workers to work hard to pass the employment standards set for jobs abroad. Harriet Chimea files the story. The failure rate in English tests done by clinical officers is extremely high, according to the Ministry of Health, noting that only 10 out of 300 clinical officers pass the required test to work abroad. We are going to have to pass the exams. Not me, you. Let's set the standards so that we are sure that there is no exam anywhere on earth that a clinical officer trained in Kenya can fail. This comes after recent events where jobless Kenyan nurses and other healthcare workers got a chance to work in the UK as part of a new scheme requested by Kenya this year, yet only a minority of those who applied got the jobs. There are certain tests that one has to do depending on the region in the world that you are going to. For instance, the ones who are going to England have got to do tests in English and they have got to do tests, I think, in computers. The Ministry of Health, however, is in talks of negotiations to ensure healthcare workers and other Kenyans get to work in Europe and the Middle East region. The ministry has added that it intends to increase the workforce of clinical officers. The policy we, we would like to lay as a government is that every year, in the same manner, as we recruit soldiers every year, we also want to increase the health workforce in the same manner. Plans are also underway to reform NHIF, a cover that the Ministry of Health says has been misused and abused, calling it ineffective in providing affordable health care. If we manage to bring down the cost of these services, it is going to be paid fully by NHIF. Meanwhile, 99 people have tested positive for COVID-19, 115 have recovered and three late deaths have been recorded. Reporting for Switch TV, my name is Harriet Chimea.